Hi guys, I'm Rich. Let's go through my top five things to watch for the week ahead in markets. Number one, non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate. NFP and unemployment rate data are expected to be heavily watched by investors on Friday. A significant consideration for the Federal Reserve when evaluating the market's response to tighten monetary policy is the number of new jobs added and the unemployment rate. As per the estimates, the number of new jobs created in July was 240,000, which is lower than the previous reading of 380,000 for June. This partly explains the dollar pullback last week. Number two, Bank of England interest rate decision. The Bank of England is dealing with the highest inflation in four decades, a problem magnified by supply chain disruptions and skyrocketing energy costs around the world. A recruiter's poll of economists concluded that the Bank of England is likely to avoid a larger interest rate rise in August and instead continue to the relatively moderate 25 basis point rise it has been delivering. This less hawkish stance could weigh on sterling. Number three, Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision. On Tuesday, the Reserve Bank of Australia will make a rate decision. Australian inflation expectations are skewed to the upside and in addition to supply chain disruptions and rising oil costs, further monetary tightening may be on the way. The Australian dollar's current interest rate is 1.35%, but inflation has risen to 6.1%. The Australian dollar should benefit from any more interest rate rises if they are accompanied by hawkish guidance from the RBA. Number four, U.S. companies continue quarter two earnings season. The U.S. stock market's results season is always a big deal for investors. This week, expect big news from companies such as PayPal Holdings, Airbnb, Moderna, eBay and many more. Investors may refocus their investment decisions on earnings and quarterly results after a stretch of worrying about the economy and the risk of recession, which has left sentiment in the stock market insecure. Number five, Eurozone unemployment data for June. Away from central banks and NFP, another data highlight this week is Eurozone unemployment. Expectations for June suggest an unemployment rate of roughly 6.7%, a small uptick from the previous month's reading of 6.6%. You can of course click on the link in the description below to see the full economic calendar with the previous month's data and the consensus expectation for this time. But for now, Thanks everyone, good luck trading this week, and remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss more content like this when it's released.